Hi, right, here's the uh, My Maths walkthrough for Task 273 Circle Theorems. Uh, the thing about the Circle Theorems, you're also looking for other things that you also know about. So things like, uh, on this one, I was in a triangle at 180. So if I take my calculator and I just figure out uh, 180, and I take off that 105, and I take out the 32, <coughs> I get 43 up here. So I've got 43 degrees in the top corner. Uh, this happens a lot when you're working on angle problems. You have to work out lots of different angles to get to the one that you want. Um, but now I know what x is, uh, because if I take these two points, I can draw an angle to the 43 and I draw an angle to the x. And this is known as the angles in the same segment, and the angles in the same segment are equal. So x must equal 43 degrees. Okay. Uh, on this one, uh, we've got 58. Uh, now what we know is the angle at the centre is double the one at the circumference. So if I just do 58 times 2, uh, I've got 116. So I've got 116 in the centre there. Um, and then the other thing to notice on this triangle, the little triangle here, is that this is a radius to the edge of the circle, and this is also a radius to the edge of the circle. So this, in fact, uh, makes an isosceles triangle. So if I now do 180, take away the 116, I'm now at 64. So these two have to add up to 64. And because it's isosceles, the base angles are equal. Uh, this one, x, must equal 32. And you've got 32 down the bottom there as well. <coughs> All right. Next question, I've got this thing over here. Uh, first of all, I notice there's a big cyclic quadrilateral coming on. And what I know on the cyclic quadrilateral is the opposite angles add up to 180. And that's making x 101. So this line and the 62 we've got don't come into play at all in my working out for this problem. Uh, it might be that you work out a different way, but that's how I did it. Just sort of spotted the cyclic quadrilateral and ignore this line in the centre. On this one here, I've got a tangent. There's only a few, there's about three with uh, tangents. Uh, one's the alternate segment theorem, which I think is going to come down here. So x is this angle down the bottom here. And what I know, I've got angles at a point on a line. So these three have got up to 180. So if I just take my calculator, 180, take away the 71, then take away the 66. Uh, I've got this angle down here as 43. Okay. And then the alternate segment theorem, where you draw a tangent, you draw a chord, uh, you make an angle here, uh, that's 43. And if you draw an angle anywhere you want off this chord into the centre, you get uh, the same results, so that's 43 up there, 43 degrees. I should put the degree signage in there. Uh, it's just a dot at the moment. Uh, right, jumping over here, um, I can see, um, what do I see here? I see cyclic quadrilateral. I also see this is going through the centre of the circle, so that's making this a right angle triangle. Okay, so because I've got a right angle triangle, angles in a semicircle are 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees. Uh, and then I've just got angles in a triangle, so I've got 180 take away 90 take away 55. And I've got equals 35 degrees at the top there. Okay, this 125 didn't come into play. Uh, never mind. Uh, this one, uh, a little bit weird. Uh, we've got tangents. Uh, what I know is tangents from a point are equal. So this tangent is equal to this tangent up to that point. Uh, that's not helping yet. Um, but the tangent, um, I've got a 39 degree angle off this chord, which is on this tangent, so that makes that one 39 degrees. Okay, um, it's a 39 degree angle, you've got a tangent, you draw a chord in, so the angle you make is the same as the angle that comes off it, that's known as the alternate segment theorem. Uh, being isosceles, because of the tangents from pump being equal, that's 39 as well, and that now gives me x as 180 take away 39 uh, and take away another 39 is 102, so we've got equals 1 or 2 there. Uh, last question, well this is the big one, uh, so going all over the point, all over the place here. Um, let's have a look where we're going to go. Uh, I don't have a clue where I'm going to start on here. Uh, lots of things going on here. Let's all have just spotted a big cyclic quadrilateral, so I'm just going to start working. Uh, I can't even remember what the question was for this question. Um, I think there was a whole bunch of them uh, that I've got to try to find out, so I've got to find out. RCB, R to C to B, so I've got to find out this angle here, I've got to find out ABC, so A to B to C, so I've got to work out this angle up here, and I've got to work out OAD, O, A, and then where's D, D's down here, so I've got to work out this angle here, the big angle, okay, so quite a lot of work uh, to get on with here. So let's start, and it doesn't matter which order you work them out in, uh, I'm just going to go from uh, the starting point. I'm going to have uh, this angle at the top here uh, because the cyclic quadrilateral wrapping all the way around. Uh, so 180 take away the 132 uh, is 48. So now I've got 48 degrees up here. It really helps on these types of questions if you uh, draw the diagram so you can actually write on the diagram. Okay. So 48 at the top, that's angle cyclic quadrilaterals. 
Uh, this one down here now must be 96 because the angle at the centre has to be double the angle at the um, at the circumference. Okay, so that's 96. What else am I going on with? Right, I've got a um, I've got the uh, isosceles triangle here, so that's an isosceles triangle. So these two angles have to be the same. So let's figure out what they are. Uh, so we've got um, isosceles triangle. What we're we doing? Uh, 180, take away the 96, and I'm going to divide that by 2 to give me both those angles. So that angle in there is 42, and this angle up here must be 42 as well. Alright, um, what else? Um, let's go for the tangent and the radius. Oh, sorry, the tangent and the radius, so that's making 90 degrees there. So this angle down here is just 90 take away the 38, uh, which is 52. So 52 here. Uh, this angle in here is going to be... Uh, again, you've got the, tang uh, the tangent in the radius, so if I do the angle there, that must be a big 90 degrees. So I've got 90, take away the 42, well, I figured out earlier, take away the 20, uh, and this is 28 over here, so now I've got 28 there, degrees, okay, all these are degrees, aren't they? Uh, what else have I got? So now I've got, um, I've got this little quadrilateral here, now notice it's not a cyclic quadrilateral, but it still is a quadrilateral. And what, what I know about quadrilaterals is the angles always add up to 360, so not necessarily the opposite ones. See, these two certainly don't add to 180, but the whole quadrilateral will add up to um, 360. Or, I could just, in fact, I'm going to change my mind there, I'm going to go with this, this triangle that adds up to 180. Uh, okay, so I've got um, 180, I'm going to take away the 132, and I'm going to take away the 28, I've just figured out. So which is going to give me 20 degrees up here. Okay, I can't remember which angles I was after. And I think, well, I think that was it, wasn't it? Because one of the questions was RCB. So RCB, so from R, go across to C, go up to B, makes this angle down here of 52 degrees. Another angle I was asked for was ABC, so ABC. So I'm drawing off this top angle. ABC equals 48 degrees. And <coughs> another one I was asked for was OAD. And OAD is equal to O to A to D is 62. So it's both them together, 62 degrees. And that's me done. Okay, so um, you'll notice sometimes, like on this question, uh, extra information in the a diagram I actually didn't use. Maybe you, you could use it, uh, but I personally didn't. Um, on this diagram it was really nice to have the diagram to write lots of things in and just keep batting away it I found out eventually what I wanted um, it's always useful to have the diagrams drawn out so you can uh, figure them out as well All right, and write on the diagrams diagrams are in exams it really um, I, I don't understand why people don't automatically write on diagrams it's not just a diagram write on it uh, it really really helps that's it good luck with your set